been brief. And on the positive side, we're going to forego the financial dismal future for the future. So that's the best thing to do. Right. Positive. That's good enough. And I'll assure you I will be brief. Um, there's a lot going on in terms of uh, new initiatives, uh, changes in public education in the very near future. So these will very much be short term. Uh, what's going on? A lot of this is going to take place in the next couple of years as far as changes coming down from Atlanta uh, out of the Department of Education. The Southern Association of Colleges and Schools, uh, also known as SACS, uh, does an accreditation process every five years. And the Lowndes County School System's turn, if you will, is next spring. So next March, we'll be participating in our uh, five-year accreditation study. And uh, that consists of, of schools as well as school systems uh, utilizing an, an external team. Uh, they come in, they may be educators from the southeast, they may not all necessarily be from Georgia. <clears throat> they come in and evaluate schools based on five standards. Uh, it used to be seven standards, but they uh, consolidated them down to five. One is purpose and direction. <clears throat> the second one is governance and leadership. The third one is teaching and assessing for learning. The fourth one is resources for support systems. The fifth one is using results for continuous improvement. <clears throat> When that team comes in, they evaluate each school's school improvement plan. They make sure that we are actually doing what we're saying we're doing on paper. Uh, we submit a lot of data to them prior to their arrival uh, in the school system, and they'll be here in March uh, for about three and a half days when they get here. Also prior to their arrival, uh, each school within the system conducts an internal review, and that consists of surveying stakeholders, students, parents, community business partners, are all surveyed and those results are available. Uh, we also do a self-assessment in relation to those same five standards that we will be evaluated on. And then a continuous improvement plan. Where are we today based on student achievement data and where do we want to be? Where, what is our goal and what action plan? What steps do we have in place to get there, to move us from where we are today to where we actually want to be? Another um, 